Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it is the morning of day 98. It is Horde Night tonight. So I did a few things last night. Uh, so last night I got my coil rifle maxed out. I made a foregrip mod for it as well to help um, with some stability. And I also made one of those for the SMG. And we've also got a bipod mod now added to the sniper rifle. Hopefully that will help a little bit. Um, I have a shoulder stock mod I think that I made as well. Um, I know that doesn't work with the SMG, um, but it might work here. We'll see. I don't know what I would take off of this though. Probably nothing. I think it's probably fine how it is. I mean the other, I mean we could take off the automatic mod I guess and just have a single shot. Because it's doing a pretty good job and we just use the coil rifle anyway if we need to rinse somebody. So maybe we pull off the auto mod on this thing. I don't know, I haven't quite decided yet. I mean, it does more damage overall, right? Magazine size is a 22, this is 45. So, I don't know. Damage, this is 52, but, like, it rinses pretty good if you've got stuff on target. It's pretty fast firing, so it's, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so those are ready to, ready to go, and in here we've got another... Oh, that's the guard outside. We've got another coil sniper here or a coil rifle here, and I'm making a bunch of parts to make a bunch more. I want to get a bunch of level 80s going, so just so we have them kicking around uh, and stuff for repairs. Now in here, we got the um, SMG turrets over there. I'm not going to install, uh, you know what, I might install them today, but I don't think I'm going to put any rounds in them because the Horde Knights tonight, and if I forget to turn them off, that's one of the other things I'm going to have to remember to do. They might accidentally trigger a demo before it even gets into the building, right? And then it's going to be going off as it's coming inside. So, yeah, i got to remember to turn those things off. There, I should have a switch somewhere where I can turn them on and off. Let me think about that. So, like, when I come in at nighttime, I throw a switch. And... Yeah, and then they're going to handle whatever's outside. So let's go ahead. What do I want to run that off of? So this battery bank is fine. It gets charged during the day. It uses the stuff at, on Horde Night. You know, it's it's this system's running well. So I want to get a second system going, maybe. Um, but I'm going to need a bunch of relays. Which isn't a problem, because I mean, I can put them on the backs of these things, right? These blocks here to run the wiring along. And they should stay hidden enough and not get hit. So let's do... Do I have relays? Here's a good question. I got a switch. That's the regular... Those are the timer relays. I mean, could we... I could set it so that they're on all the time. With a time... Well, no. Let's bring these down. We're going to need those. We're going to need the ammo. And I got that uh, this stuff working away in here. We've got a, uh, a pump uh, set up to go as well. So let's get that. We need two stacks of ammo per. So I need what? That. For the turrets. Now I'm going to need the wire tool. We're going to need to make some more relays. Definitely going to need more relays. And I'm going to need a power source. I don't know whether I want to make it battery or gas. You know, I think at this point in time, we've got so much gear. I'm going to need that. Yeah, our polymers are starting to get back up there again. We've got so much gack now that it's... Um, I don't have to worry about too much, you know? Uh, what is... Is it forged? I don't know. I think it's forged iron. Mm, I got it on me, don't I? Yeah. So, uh, this is a generator bank. Let's craft that. Let's get some fuel out of here. Which we've got already. Dirt. Now I just gotta figure out where it's gonna be. Maybe we put it... We haven't been utilizing the roof at all for anything. Maybe it's time we start building out here. Like, we gotta put our AA turrets up here. Our Mark II AA turrets. Maybe we find a way to put them on over there too. Like, let's... Do I have... I got these guys. I don't have any steel on me. Damn it. I never have what I need. 
I need an infinite backpack is what I need. One of the things I, I mean, I like, I love Seven Days to Die because it's, I mean, it's similar to Minecraft in a way where you can build stuff, but there's some things in, in the modded versions of my, I don't even have my fucking tool on me. Um, there's some things in, in like modded versions of Minecraft that are just so good. Like, and it, and it takes forever to get to it. Like, that's the thing I like about it. It's not like it, you, you have instant access right away. It's kind of like this multi-tool, right? You get a certain point, you're able to get the multi-tool, it makes everything just easier. Yeah, see, this didn't take any real damage, did it? Yeah, no, we're good. But there's like things like, you know, wireless storage and all kinds of, you know, crazy good stuff that you could, in uh, modded Minecraft, it was just like, you know, awesome. Like they see, I like to see them add some of that here. Like, but you can do it realistically. It doesn't have to be like, you know, wireless storage or whatever. But just better, better storage systems, I think, for some things. Now, I made this chest last night. We're gonna stick, um, and I probably should go do that now. Um, all of our, I gotta change my shovel over too. Ah, so many things to do. Let's do that, or else I'm gonna forget about it. So that's gonna be. I'm gonna put these in there as well. The chest for swapping out my gear, just so whenever I need to go find stuff that I uh, that I need or that I'm using generally when I'm running around and stuff, I can just dump it all in here and it'll be available to me in a lot easier or uh, um, a faster manner, I guess. Okay. Oh wait, we needed to get uh, relays as well. So wire relays. Let's just make. How much is 20? That's nothing. Let's just do that real fast. It's only three minutes. Actually, just make 10 here. And 10 more over here. Excellent. While we're waiting for that, let's get our shovel switched over. Wow, we got a lot of mods in that shovel, huh? A lot of mods on that shovel. Yeah, not bad. We don't use it a whole lot, so. All right, how many do you have ready now? Two? That should give us a good start. We got a few on us as, as well, so. There we are. Now. Power's probably gonna be up there. Did I bring? I did. I didn't bring any iron with me, though. So. Don't have enough, um. range it's the power situation that's going to be the worst for this and then hopefully not hitting the motion sensor maybe we need to put it out on a plate that looks down this way I think so let's go get the rebar because um, if we're going to do plates, we might as well make them concrete. Nope, let's keep that on me. Uh, where are you? Here you are. We got concrete on us. Uh, what else did I want to grab now that I'm in here? I know we needed concrete. Uh, we got the wire tool. There was something I wanted. I know there was something I wanted. Power, no. That's what you get for being ADHD, man. I don't think we need this many now. But we got them. Alright, let's go down here. So if we put these out, and we go advanced, like this. We could put it like this. Hmm. So my thought is maybe these are bars. It'll they'll it'll sit on bars, right? I don't have any wood on me. Damn it! You know, I should just start carrying wood again. I really should. Okay, bars. Um, let's make two. 
craft them real quick. And then, because I think those things will sit on bars. Um, advanced rotation. Have them look like they're supposed to be proper. Like so. It's always so hard to get the second one. Come on. There you go. So now I think I should be able to... I think this will sit on bars. Yeah, it will. So it'll go like that. Uh, let's reinforce the inside one first, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there goes one of our turrets. So, as I was saying before, I so rudely interrupted myself. Let's put this up here. There we go. And then let's do this first. I think regular should be enough. Make that reinforced as well, just in case. I don't think it'll matter, but it'll be fine. All right, don't fall. Beautiful. All right, so for the sake of argument, let's just go ahead and test this. Now we want to do uh, that, and then let's got to power it now before we can do anything else. So let's go down here and run power from here. Why won't you take that power? Oh, there we go. I just wasn't close enough? No, really? Really? Whatever. All right, now we need to angle it. Let's close this up. Uh, we need to get you. I can get back up here. Excellent. You're powered now. Yeah, see, that's not bad. You know, I think that'll work. Okay, so let's go build that on the other... I don't take these out now. You know damn well they're going to be there on Horde Night. And that would be bad. Okay, let's go up here. So awesome. Um, going to go up here. Going to go out this way. And then we want one on this door. And I think we want it facing... We want it away from the guards, I think. They're level to shoot the damn thing. Craft these guys. So, advanced. Excellent. One. Come on. There you go. Now. I don't know why I just didn't do that before, but there you go. Alright. Turret. Now we're not going to have power for this just yet. What if we run the one for the front doors off of the front power and I build another power in the back corner here for this just these two. I think we do that. We can, uh, no, because I wanted to use switches, didn't I? I wanted to use switches. All right, before we forget.
going to turn that off. Because on come horde night, it'll be on and we'll be in trouble. Um, what's that from? Why do I think that's from, uh... I don't know. Oh, uh, it could have been from Cot Cop Spit or something, maybe. Maybe? Or maybe the guards were shooting at somebody at one point before I put this wall up and did that. I don't know. Maybe someone was on the wall. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, now we want this one facing down and away from the guards. Um, oh man. Yeah, I think it'll be fine on this side. So let's go. And We're already in advance, so do it like that. Just so it looks like it makes sense. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Did I seriously just do that? I seriously just did that. It's like this little delay I get every once in a while on my mouse, and I don't know why it is. There we go. Did I just hear a spider monkey? Nope. Thought I heard a spider monkey. Okay. Uh, we need to make one more of these for a later. We gotta make one more of these. Okay, so let's go inside. We'll get another turret crafting. I think I've got everything I need for that. Pretty sure I do. So we needed the auto rifle parts, AK receiver, and the SMG. And we got the other stuff on us, I believe. So... What are we missing? Oh, motion sensor. Let's make three of them. Just so we have them. Uh, then we'll have those turrets up. We need to go ahead and put this power supply in somewhere. And I'm thinking we do the same thing we did with the other side. Um, don't really need two engines. One would do. Um, that's the fuel for it. We need a hatch, which is steel and not in there. Vault hatch. Oh, springs. You know what we should do? Let's make a couple of vault hatches. Vault hatch. Three. Craft. Okay, so that's our motion sensors. Now, oops, now we can do... Turret. Here? Maybe. Wrench. Why? I thought it was made in here. Was that just... Did I... Am I going crazy? I thought they said I couldn't do it in there. Oh well. Maybe I was... You know what? I could have been looking in my inventory and that could have been the case. Most likely the case. Alright, let's put you out there. And you. Actually, let's take you. And you're in the wrong damn place. Put you there. Because I think what I'm going to do... Think. Gotta stop thinking. Gets me in trouble. Um, um is not a word either. I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? I got my rebar. I don't know. My brains, probably. Okay, so let's go to the front now. 
Uh, best ways to go is this way. Actually, we want to go ahead and do that before I forget. And the same thing here. I guess this is not the best way to go. Best way to go is to pull up, I imagine. And we're not going to do that with wood. Or with mechanical parts. We'll do with this. Okay. So this is just iron. Which makes me feel less confident. Um... Uh, Why is my car over there all of a sudden? Like, I know that's where I parked it, like, several episodes ep several episodes ago. I parked it there. But the last few episodes, and I've been recording, like, the last... This is the fourth one I recorded back-to-back. -back, it was right here. Like, the last episode, you saw it right here. I was like, I should move that car. And there it is, and I haven't... I didn't move it. It's the It's a phantom car. Doing it on its own. I wonder if we should put this one back here. Giving it a bit better range for the front door. No, I don't think it matters. These are just to, to handle the the, uh, the handful of Zeds that show up out here. Um, so. Like that. Right? Yeah, it's a little over from where the other ones are, but that's okay. And that. And now, excellent, now we can put this guy up here, like so. Okay, we might as well drop the ammo in this guy. Did we? Did I put a stack of ammo back? Oh, I, you know what, I didn't take out enough. I had a thousand on me, which means I had a stack of a hundred left over, and I put the hundred back in, thinking, oh, I got too much. As reality, I should have taken out an extra 200. That's what happened. Yeah, I got no ammo in there. Alright, let's get this turret with some ammo in it. And then we're going to build a corner piece. Lock that ammo up. Okay, and we'll do um, you and you, and lock that ammo up. Um, there's got to be a way to do this that I don't have to, like, run hundreds of wires. Maybe we don't have the turrets on during the daytime. Maybe they're just on at night. In which case I would use the electric timer relays. Well, let's get... Um, oh, shoot. I was going to put this in there. Now it's... God damn it. Well. Fuck it. Let's break this block out. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. If we put an electric timer relay on it, we could just have them automatically come on at night. But then it doesn't help with hordes. I'd have to go and turn off all the relays too, every horde night. And that's just a pain in the ass. That's dirt. Um. Hmm. So now what? Hmm. I don't know what the best option is. Wait, is that out? It is. Okay. Um. Needed a hatch. Did not bring my hatch with me. Do that. Put two engines in here. Refuel the hell out of this. Leave it on. 
I want to put a second engine in each of these, just in case I decide to like, at some point in the future, just to run extra power. Right? So if I like, I'm like, oh, I can just run this off of here, then I've got an extra battery in there. At least it's got power. You know? Plus we got a crap ton of engines. Okay, so let's go get a hatch from upstairs. We'll get that corner done. So amazing. Um, we'll get that corner done. Um, hatch. We were making them over here. Grab those. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. We can throw the hatch in here. Like so. Upgrade it. Okay, so that's ready to go. So what if we do... Like, I mean, theoretically, we could probably put a fuse box in here. Right, put a fuse, like, that connects to a fuse box. The fuse box... Like, maybe I do... Like, maybe it's an... I don't know. I want to have it all controlled by one switch, right? But I, I don't want wires running all over my damn base. So it has to go from there into my main building and then from the main building back out to the turrets. So in order to do that probably in a half decent manner, I'd have to like run the power under here. Why is there still so much damage on these blocks? I thought I fixed everything. Run the power under here and then up. So it would go from there to here where there'd be a fuse box, the power will run from there inside. And then from there to a switch. And then from the switch, back down to a second box here, which would then go back, no. Yeah, it could go back to a second box here, side by side box, to a fuse box, and the fuse box would go from there up to there, and then from that one over to that one. I could just put like a relay up here. So when I come home, I can just throw the switch up there, and it will turn these turrets on over here. Right? So these turrets would get turned on by a switch, this turret would get turned on by a switch, and so would the front one. that makes sense? But I have to run like a double relay. So I'd have to run. So it would be powered from here. Shit, I'm almost better like. Powering it from inside. Powering just that network from inside. I think that's what we do. That's what I was intending to do originally. But I never did it. I just want to see what time it is here. Talk to this guy. Oh, Four, sorry, 2.30. 2.30. All right, we got some time. So let's make another. I have my materials on me. I probably do. Uh, let's make a battery bank. Because then I can re recharge it from up here. Battered, a battery, batter turret bank. Make another battery bank. And then where do we run the relays though? Like we could do it as fuse boxes. And I mean we could just technically put them on the walls here. So we go from a battery bank to a fuse box in here, a fuse box to a fuse box down there, and then from there to there. And then we do the same thing in there, where it's it goes from there 
battery bank to a fuse box, fuse box to another fuse box that just goes over to there. And we can just put them on the walls, like high up on the walls, because I mean the zombies aren't really damaging the walls in any way. The guards might shoot them, but you know, during a horde night, no big deal. So let's make four fuse boxes. Don't fall off of there. I think we gotta make them in here. They're not called fuse boxes though, they're called um Oh my god. I'm gonna search because I can't. Uh, junction box. So we need two, four, six. I'm gonna make eight. We got the materials for it. Pull that irrigation system out. Pull this out of there. We're gonna put it in here. So we can get the irrigation system working tomorrow, maybe. Uh, okay, fuse boxes. There's one. Is our battery bank done? It is. So let's put this battery bank here. Hmm. Let's go there. Then I think we can probably recharge this one from the other, uh, like that. And then we can go from, because we got the two, where's the fuck is my wire tool? There it is. We got two of these, so we can go from this guy to this guy. Right? And that should charge the batteries up during the day. Right, that'll charge the batteries during the day. Then our fuse box can go there. Not ideal. From that to that. Right? Then we grab our other fuse boxes from over here. From over here. And then we can go. Oh, I need a switch. Uh, where's my switch? Switch to ch. Do I have it here? I had it on me. No? Switch. Uh, how many do I need? There's the question. One. I need one. Because we go switch here. We go power from this thing to the switch. From the switch to this guy. Um, yep, that worked. So then all we have to do is turn this on. Right, and then that runs everything out from the junction box. Okay, cool. I thought I'd need, for a second there I was like, oh, do I need to switch for every one? I don't. So if we put a junction box, um, turret's like right here. Question, will it go from there Oh, it will. So if we turn this on now. What the fuck is it? Oh, it's shooting the guard. Oh shit, man, that was close. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. That's, I, I gotta apologize, dude. That was totally my bad. It's like it's healing on random amounts. That should be good enough for now. Yeah, man, make sure these things are angled properly before you fucking turn them on. Come on. Take those out. <laughs> Oh man, I feel so bad for that guard. Grab a few more of those to help him out. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we can turn the power on. As long as there's no ammo in it, we should be fine. We'll go back and heal this guy up fully. There you go. Yeah, ignore the turret. It's just trying to lock onto you. It doesn't like you. Nobody likes you. Except for me. I'm your only friend in the apocalypse.
Remember that. Okay, so that should be good there. Now we should be able to... Yep. Not going to shoot the guard? Excellent. Now, I think we can probably go ahead... Uh, junction boxes. And we can probably drop one... Nah, that's too close to the horde. I was going to say we could put it underneath there, so these guys don't shoot it. But I'm going to put it there. Now, I don't know if that'll reach from the inside, but let's just see if it will. Grab that. I think it's too far. Yeah, a little too far. Now, is it out of my range to pick up? I can't pick it up. Oh, I can. Perfect. So... We do that. Is that in range? Because then we can run another one. So there. Come on! Why won't you connect? You're gonna make me do it the awful way. I don't know why it's not... Like, I know you need to hit the bottom of it. That's technically the bottom. Click, 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 click. Nothing. Damn it. Okay, I can't pick it up when I'm holding that, though. Wait, what? I can't even... How is... It might be just... Out, no, it can't be outside of my... Uh, yeah, it's outside of my, my, my land claim block. So I can't pick it up. Damn it. Well, I mean, I guess we can always go from here. We'll just daisy chain it. See if it'll let me do this. Nope, just a little too far, I guess. Damn it. Mm. Um... Put you there. Why can I? I'm not even gonna like. I, I don't even know. Whatever. Wait, did you connect to that? You did. I thought for a second there it went after the, it, his power in the light. It's not. Yeah, you can't see the guards. So something like that, I guess. So that's that one done. And powered. And now we need to work on the one ones at the front. That's going to be the trickiest one. I don't know how I'm going to run the power across that gap. Uh, okay, so we can do it in here by running it across here to there. So we can go from there to 
that one right and then if we go out here I wonder if we put it on top of her house I better start getting ready for the horde though uh, I think we do that another wonderful morning in the apocalypse how can I help you the fuck why won't it let me oh because there's that would make sense I'm going up the wrong way I'm like why won't it let me put a block down won't let me do it because there's a because I have no idea why because reasons Okay, so this one we'll put here. That's interesting. Why won't it lie? What? Sure. That's got a thousand hit points. That's fine. Alright, now we should be able to build a little bridge across here. this and then take our wire tool and go from there to there so that should have power now yep excellent uh, can't take that one we can take this one though there's crickets we don't have time to finish this not success well we just gotta run the one more wire we just gotta run one more wire one more wire. We can do this. No, we can't. Don't be stupid. We got shit to do. Um, shouldn't this say always? Instant. Always. So that should stay open. And. I gotta stop, like, pushing it. Instant always. Instant. Instant. Always. I hear ya. Oops, I double tapped that one. Okay. That's ready. Doors are open. This needs to get opened. And then we need to go up here. And drop off all the shoes we don't need. I'll sort this out tomorrow. Uh, that can go in there. We need that. We need all this ammo on us. We don't need the multi-tool because we can't repair during the evening. This is just in case we need that. Well, we never used it, so we don't need it now. Food and drink we do need. My frames, possibly. If I'm on the run. Uh, anything else in there I need? No, I don't want to use the mobility goggles. Okay, we're good there. Close this door. Uh, Ammo-wise, I think we're good with 9 mil. Let's bring all of this. Let's bring all of this. Uh, let's bring all of that. <laughs> you never know. Now, uh, coil rifles. Let's go with two. Uh, make sure we're loaded on the second one. Just in case. Okay. Um, we got that running. That should power... This. Yep. Right. Pick those up in a second. Um, this can get turned off. What am I forgetting, guys? What am I forgetting? You know I'm forgetting something. I need to eat and drink before we go outside. Uh, let's use one of these guys. Use a couple of these. We need my vitamin. Um, to take before we start. Uh, we had learned, we had, yeah, we got two of these left we can bring down. Bring this guy down. Got grenades on me if we need them. Um, 
I need more of this just in case and take that with me uh, I don't need the honey or anything hmm these I'm forgetting something what am I forgetting that's powered on which means all this is powered on the one turrets in place this is a 32 zombie horde that's why I'm, I'm kind of a little worried here yep that's working okay I'm willing to take that minor damage to start. I'm okay with that. All right, 32 zombie horde. All the doors are open, right? They can't get inside. The traps are fixed. Sledge turret's in place. I didn't get all the spikes, but that's fine. Doors are open. Those guns are turned off. Uh... I think we're good. Let's bring... We might see our first Bernie boys here tonight. We'll see how that goes. And do this. And bring this down. Sure. Making sure we're all loaded. All right. Bring it on, Saruman. Let's see what you got today. Hope it's not too much. 32, eh? I don't know, I, I, I didn't really experience that much of a slowdown when we did 24. I know they've said if you don't have a really good machine, trying to run a, a uh, Darkness Falls Horde on, on, a, uh, on 64 zombies is just like a, a grind. Especially in end game, but I don't know. I think we'll be okay with 32. Like, we're, our, what's our, what are we at here? Got four levels. So we're at level 130. And 5,700 zombie kills. Game stage 454. Eight deaths. Yeah, man, I'm still pissed about those eight deaths. But what do you do, right? Got enough coil rounds? I think we do. Yeah, I mean, if we can't get through the horde with this amount of ammo, then we're doing something wrong. I'm wagering. So, I don't think I'm going to turn it up to 64 zombies for the next horde. I might try, for the very final horde, I'll crank it to 64. But that's a long, I don't want to say a long way away, but it's a way away, ways away. We want to make sure we have the laser rifle. we got to do... We gotta destroy those two portals that are out in open in the wasteland still. And in order to do that, we gotta be able to kill those those behemoth princes or whatever the hell they are that have like almost instant regen. So without the laser weapons, we can't do that. So we gotta be level 150 for that. So the next seven days it'll be a push to 150. And then uh, we can go do the command bunker, wipe that out, and then I'll do a 64 zombie max horde in this base just to see how long it lasts. Now right now we're still at warrior difficulty. Um, I could take it to um, insane or whatever it is, the uh, whatever the hardest difficulty is. But then everything just becomes a bullet sponge at that point, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. They don't get any tougher, they're just, they have just more, have more hit points, you know? Alright. We got our fallback point. Feel good about this. If they break, like if we get several behemoths and they wreck these hatches, I don't think they can get in because of this and the plate. I think they'll still have troubles getting through the regular zombies, spiders and stuff we can get through. Yeah, I'll be fine. Alright, here we go. Interested to see how much more steady the coil weapon and the SMG are now that I got the foregrips on them. And this thing's got the bipod, so interested to see how well that does. And we got demos early on. So this will be interesting.
Could you imagine if those demos could regen? That would be insane. Yeah, we don't even like we have the second turret is like they're not even getting through on the first turret. Like no one's been to the door yet. All right, well, I think we just rinse them this this way. That might be a good thing. I don't I don't know. It's just easier to kill them at the door. I use a lot less ammo. Because I can use the shotgun, right? Oh, well, we got our Bernie boys in now. I didn't bring... Oh, I did. Okay. I was like, I didn't bring anything to drink. Alright, let's use this. Let's use this. Alright, well... I prefer killing them that way. Now, nah, where's that demon? There you are. You were. Cop! I hate the fact when you aim, when you when you zoom in and, and aim, it doesn't let you uh, reload until you forcefully unzoom. It should automatically unzoom. Yeah, it's a little laggy. Just die. It's a little laggy. Alright, military guy. Actually, let's go this route. It's so much quicker. Hey, what are you fuckers doing? Leave her alone. Yeah, you get over here, bastards. I see you there. So many rads. Kind of shocked at how many rads there are. Okay, I gotta manage this door really well here. Come on, you little shit. Oh, here they come. Ooh, she ducked under the way just so that her friend could get killed. Oh, this little bastard. There you go. Yeah, they're hitting on that now. There's another demo out there. Yeah, it's weird. I put those... Th they see me switch weapons to shoot them, and they're like, no, 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 run, 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 run. He's dead. Oh. There he is. Hey, get out of the way. I'm trying to shoot a demo. Good night. Oh, hey. These are the guys I gotta watch out for. Because they're gonna slip by this thing every almost every time. But if I'm not watching... Oh, another demo. God, he's so easy to kill. What the hell? That guy's dead. This SMG, man, I just love this thing. It fires so quickly. Like the coil gun's not bad. It does less it does more damage per shot, but it fires slower. It just doesn't feel as satisfying, you know? So this is the I guess the easy part of the horde. You got the first wave, it's like there's no animals. There's no thousand spider monkeys jumping up to try and get you. Occasional cop, occasional demo. A few of these idiots. Oh, this idiot. 
who's now dead. Then when the second wave hits, those animals show up. That's when things change. It just gets really chaotic. Yeah, I may not use the shotgun as much at the door until the animals show up. It's just easier to use this continuously. It's just that it means the durability is going to go down rel relatively quickly. Yeah, I better not. Wrong weapon. He's got to reach on him, I'll tell you. And he's gone. That hatch is like brutal now. That's what I mean. I just take them. To, like if I don't see that guy, and they get to the door, it could be all over quickly. Oh. Got him. So the demons are starting to show up now. With the more, with the greater numbers of zombies too, it seems like they're more interested in. Yeah, it's not much better. They're more interested in getting to the trader. I guess it gives them something else to do. I don't know. When they can't, if they can't get an immediate path up here, they just kind of go somewhere else. Yeah, 64, this is going to be crazy. I fully expect them to get through at 64. And we're going to need a stink ton of ammo. Yeah, we're going to need a crap ton of ammo. Okay. I'm getting a bit of a lag here. I'm expecting them to break some blocks down here tonight. Oh, animal's in. Is that? What is that? A spider monkey? They broke on the outside door, it looks like. Or maybe not. Yeah, they have. Outside door is broken. We're down one level of door already. Oh, that's some bullshit right there. Yeah, they broke that outside door. It was because of, this, of these guys. Can I get him from here? Yep. Excellent. Hello. Goodbye. Another one. Yeah, I know you're hitting me. Gotta make sure that guy goes down first.
Okay, well you got a good hit in that door. Man, okay. What should I be focusing on here? Maybe we leave the um, the bears alone. Let them come to the door. Rinse the bears at the door. And just focus on like... The big nasties. Did I just see another one? No, I did not. Okay. These fucking guys and they're like just randomly hitting corners and stuff. I should put a electric fence across here or something. She's gotta go. She's healing them. This gun's almost done. I know I said I shouldn't be shooting these bears, but they're blocking the zombies from getting upstairs. Ooh, hellhound. Alright, get one of these guys to me again. Oh shit. Wrong gun. Goodbye. We're reloaded here. I didn't put anything in the turrets either. I should have put like cripplums or something in the turrets. I'm wondering what we would be the most effective. Uh, probably the NICADs. Like if we could put like the electrical ones in there, when it knocks them off, it just shocks them. That's a possibility too. I gotta think about that. out of my doorway. I don't know how badly this this is down to the second level. It's got a bit of life left in it. I think I got the nurse. Seems to be less of these guys tonight. Don't Okay, we got him. I was hoping he wouldn't fall off and blow up. Okay, looks like that animal wave might be coming to an end here. At least I don't see any more bears showing up. I wonder if I should put a gun here. Like we could put like a... A Mark II turret or something. A lot of them made it to the door. Wasn't watching my health there. that guy dies. So this is still down to the second level. Okay, good. No, oh, there's still bears coming. Yep. 
Yo. Chubby ass, get out of the way. Well, we should be getting more XP this time than we did before. That guy's done. Is that irradiated? It's a radiated uh, spider monkey. Just gotta get a shot at him here. Fucking bears! Did I get him? I think I got him. Uh, no, he's right here. I got him now. Yeah, they made their way through the uh, steel uh, parts of that wall there. Get this guy, if we can get him early. Yep, there's the morning. Oh my god. All right, nice. Yeah. Nice. Didn't get used to use, use the shotgun as much tonight. But then again, I was actively trying to kill as many as I could down below, so that kind of helped out. Look at this last wave of these guys. What are you guys showing up at the last minute for? Hey, you. A little late, aren't you? I'm interested to see what we got loot-wise and how many zombies we killed. I'm going to double-check that right when we're done here. Okay, what do we got down here left? Some dogs. He's gone. Military guy's dead. Get the dog, get the dog, get the dog. Got him. Screamer! No, I don't know, I don't think she's a real screamer. He dead either way. They're still coming in though. Maybe it was a screamer. Oh, that's a, that's a Bernie boy. Guess it doesn't really matter where I am. It's still going to light me on fire. Okay, we'll see what happens to him. If he, get, if he gets punked off... Holy... So, what the fuck is this? I thought the horde was over. Screamer, maybe? Oh, uh, you know what it is? The Bernie boy caught them all on fire. That's what it is. Oh, they've broken two blocks there. This is the guy here we want. Where are you? No, there's more than one. Well, we have to go down there and rinse him, I guess. Yeah, it's a screamer. That's a real screamer. Okay, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. That should just about be it, I think. Oh shit, somebody's under something. They got in here again. How the fuck did they get in here?
No, it's not under here. Oh man, I know where it is. Sorry, what was that? I was gonna what? Oh, they're in the base. They're in the mine. What the fuck? Where? Where is this? Oh, they were tunneling up. Wait, where's my... What the fuck? So they somehow... And of course they broke the ladder. <sighs> Bring those down. So they... Must have come through the wall. And I had left this hatch open and then they just, someone just had gone down the hatch. And they broke through the building to get out and they broke the wire fences here too. Interesting. Well, we got some repairs to do, but we got some bags to check out too. Let's check the uh, kill count real quick here. So about 400... 350, 400 zombies. Two levels. Not a lot of levels. But let's start looting this stuff here. Alright, that looks like the last of it. Now, I think... Oh, missed one over here. I think what we're going to do today is get this base repaired and ready to go for the next horde. So they broke one block and damaged, severely damaged another here. So these are going to have to be titanium. The thing is, is that, or maybe we extend the stairs, make it easier for them to get up on this platform. Because originally, like I think that's what we do, is make it, just give them another way to get up here. So maybe we just add stairs there, there, and there. Or like two. Corner stair, stair, stair. So they go up one, and then they just jump up and get on top. Or we just put blocks or something for them to jump up on. I think that's what we do. Yeah, they... I'm glad I went down below and put those uh, wire fences at the underneath because they broke in and took, broke two fences in there. I mean, we still did one left, but, but still. We lost one hatch... one and a half hatches. So that's not too bad. I mean, if we had the double... I mean, if we had, I better go close the doors. Actually, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here, guys. And then when I come back next time, it'll probably be like a day 99, 100 episode where we do building, we will repair the base. Think about what needs to be done. Yeah, just so you know what I, what I picked up here. I dumped stuff into the miner's chest, so everything after, like, these handful of tools here, all this stuff is the stuff we picked up, which isn't too bad. I mean, some of it's our ammo, but it's not too bad. We did okay. Um... Got a bunch of pages, which are okay. A lot of stuff to sell, which I'll sell. Maybe, you know what we'll do is we'll pick it up on the day of 100. Because so I'll go through all this stuff, sell it all. Um, get everything ready to go. Close up all the doors. And then assess the damage. And then day 100, we'll repair the damage. Figure out what we're going to do to stop them from getting down below. Because that was pretty nasty. And then... Um, once we've done that, we can go and work on the farm. Because we do have the pieces now to work on the farm. So we'll go do that. All right, so I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.